Ooh, welcome back everybody glad you're here i don't know what i'm getting ready to walk into um i got this comment this came from uh just a, a random user out don't have a specific name hi rick i looked at your reaction to the song of the kino band your empathy and deep understanding of the metaphors of the lyrics resonated very much how about something heavier check out the song blood for blood by area band Oh my goodness. It is Russian, uh, but it appears that they have English lyrics on it, but I do have lyrics pulled up. Oh man, I don't know what I'm getting ready to walk into. So this is what I do here. I love it. Music I've never heard. So we're going to check it out. This is Area, Blood for Blood, 1991. I don't know if that's, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the year it came out. So it's been out for a while, uh, but I'll definitely post links below to everything. So you guys can check them out yourselves. But without any further ado, hey, do me a favor. If you like this give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you know when we update here and uh definitely share this with your friends and relatives unknown people complete strangers just because we like to take this music you've never heard of and give it out to other people that have never heard of it probably make fans you never know what's going to happen and uh most importantly drop me a comment you see you leave me a comment you give me a link i'm probably going to select it just to find out what's going on because i love finding crazy stuff but without any further ado, this is going to be Aria, Blood for Blood, uh, from 1991. Here we go. That's not heavier. Oh, that's like Russia Iron Maiden. That King Diamond, you got a King Diamond t-shirt on? Oh, man. I swear if you didn't know better, you'd swear that was Iron Maiden. Is this Christian metal? Russian Christian metal? Oh my goodness. Time out. Time out. Holy cow. If you guys have been fans of this channel for any amount of time, you know I love Christian metal because it's a genre that I've grown up with. Um, from, from Petra, Striper, I mean, from back in the day. My very first concert was a Striper concert in their Soldiers Under Command tour. And uh, I, I, it was like in a small, I was living in Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas, 19, man, that was 85, I guess. And they came, they played, they played in a middle school auditorium. And I can remember standing on the chairs and just, I was five feet from the first time I ever saw a super stack of speakers. I couldn't hear for three days after that. It was amazing. So I, and just growing up in the church and, and just combining heavy metal with Christian was just like perfect for me. So I've always loved it. Hearing this from a Russian Christian band is blowing me away. And these lyrics are insane. So there's, so this, the whole premise is this is like directed at Pontius Pilate. He's in, he's in Israel. He hates it. It's hot. It's humid. The, 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 is the, the Israelites, the, the Jews, there are just a pain in the neck to him. He doesn't want to do anything, but get home. And, and now he's going to have to face this whole entire 
issue of 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 crucifying Jesus Christ, right? And it, it, this is just awesome. I have never heard anything, but and this is like straight like late eighties, early nineties. This is actually like middle eighties metal. Like like I said, those guys look straight out of like Peace of Mind tour from Iron Maiden. Like I could, I could, I like if you if those guys were sitting up there doing Trooper. I would completely buy that they were like the Russian version of Iron Maiden. It wouldn't be a problem. And it sounds very much like that. And and I love it because that's just old school hair metal. Uh, on, an ep- on, the, on the epic front. This is like, this is what, this is, you get obviously they're influenced by Iron Maiden, straight up. Um, and this is just awesome. So, all right, so, so he's facing the decision of like condemning Jesus to the cross, right? And, and he doesn't want to do it. If, if you know, the, if you know the story of this at all, if you've read any of the gospels, if you've ever heard this story, you've seen it, you know, that like Pontius Pilate wanted nothing to do with this whatsoever. Right. He washed his hands of this. He was just like, there's not, this guy didn't do anything. Jesus did not do anything wrong. He tried everything he could to get away from this, but this is all on him. Um, as much as it is with the Jewish leaders as well, who originally arrested him and wanted him killed. And then the entire Jewish population, pretty much like when they were, when he offered to like, Hey, it's Passover. You can get one guy freed. Do you want me to just free this guy? They're like, Nope, kill him. Give us Barabbas. Barabbas was a revolutionary and and more in line with what they wanted from a freedom fighter kind of guy. They didn't want this nice, peaceful, God is love guy. They wanted Barabbas. Um. And so and so now you know, and everybody's like, this guy's mad. He thinks he's God, but God knows that he's not. Um. He, the only the only thing he's guilty of is is like having to go through all of this alone, right? He has to go through all of this with like all of his all of his disciples have deserted him. Um, uh, everybody's just like left him and then pretty soon even God, the father's going to like turn his back on him when he takes on the entire sin of the world and you whisper your verdict and the Judaic czar, which is the translation I have is crucified as a thief. So that this, the, the, the Jew, King of the Jews is crucified like a common thief with the other two people up there. And, uh, Blood for blood is not people's will, but God's is the translation here. Uh, uh, the, the lyrics here say, say little G plural gods, but it's actually capital G possessive gods. Um, this is God's will and uh, death for death. You have not grumble here, but stand. You can't, you can't complain about this. This is your hell. You know, there's no way back. Drink your poison. Like this is what you have to do. This is awesome. I have never heard a song put like this before. This is crazy. That's Pontius Pilate. With the Medusa head medallion.
Oh wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so brilliant. If you can't, if you're not a fan of Iron Maiden, you don't get this at all. I, I grew up with Iron Maiden. They're like, they're like the, my introduction to heavy metal. Um, peace of mind is like sealed forever. And like that little small piece of my heart that just like, that's where a lot of stuff originated for me with metal trooper and, and, and especially trooper. That's still to this day, probably like, the song that dragged me into metal willfully. You can hear like all the influence here. You can, you can hear, um, like you're, you're missing the vocals cause Bruce Dickinson can't be copied, you know? So, the, so, so the lyrics are, the vocals are always going to be less than what Bruce Dickinson, this guy's pretty good. And the production value is obviously less than what like big bands that we're used to had. You know, you can just hear it in the production value, but you can definitely hear the influence from like the Steve, the Steve Harris guitar, bass. You can definitely hear that. The noodling with uh, like Dave Murray's guitar. You can definitely hear that. Uh, Nico McBain on, on drums. Like you can hear the influence across all those, um, all those instruments. Like I can just like that entire solo. If you just played that for me, I'd be like, oh. That's Iron Maiden. What song is that? Like, I'm not familiar with that song. Like, it seriously sounded like Iron Maiden. So I'm just, I'm going to stop with Iron Maiden comparisons now because it's way obvious. But it's just brilliant. That freaking acoustic guitar solo was just brilliant. Reminded me of, like, the break in um, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner from Power Slave. Just... And, and, and you can tell like they're not as smooth in their transitions when they're changing tempos and they're changing, you know, everything that they're doing. You can tell it's not as smooth as like a lot of bands can do it, but the, but the enthusiasm is definitely still there and they still have the raw talent without a doubt. And, uh, I love, I love the way they put that in that last verse. It was like, you could go with him in the silver dream along the road of eternal stars up the space of straight mountains you would kneel down at him, tears and words with no shame. He who lo you loved, he you crucified. And like showing that like Pontius Pilate was, was actually 
uh, impressed by Jesus and wanted to follow Jesus, but he had to be the one that condemned him. Um, like, you're not going to find these lyrics in a lot of songs. And I'm impressed. Like, this is cool. Picking it up a little bit. That's brilliant, man. I love it. Thank you for this. Whoever sent this to me, user such and such. Um, like, this is just so awesome. Like, I had, like, see, this is what I love about doing this channel. I'm so glad I ran across this because I've really been facing a lot of things recently with, like, where do I want to go and where do I want, is this like even making any kind of difference or, or, or am I just like kind of wasting time? Kind of, you know, you kind of have like those self doubts when you kind of like just kind of get into a rut lately, which I've been for about a month now. And finding something like this is just perfect for me. Being a huge fan of Iron Maiden, appreciating the music that's been coming out of Russia since I've started this channel, it feels like I just see more and more about Russia and from other, other places that I just never thought music would come from. You know what I mean? Um, but then to get like this Christian view of, of, of the crucifixion of Christ from the point of view almost of like Pontius Pilate. I have never heard that before. That is just brilliant. And I loved it. I, I loved it. I'm going to have to go back and listen to this again without stopping. I, I, you know, I, I, as a reactor, I kind of like got to stop and talk about it. But the, um, but this song is just so good. I'm still blown away by, by that, uh, uh, that acoustic guitar solo, which was just brilliant. The, um, and, and, and I, I just love, I just love the illusion. I think some of the stuff got kind of got lost in the translation there a little bit. Um, but it doesn't matter cause I got the overall gist of it. I think, I think that was pretty easy to follow. Um, a little background the 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 lore is that Pontius Pilate's wife was actually um, a follower of Christ was actually actually became a Christian and actually influenced Pontius Pilate to later become one I don't know if that actually happened or not that's kind of like the myth of what happened around there but apparently Pontius Pilate did talk to his wife about this and, and his wife if nothing else was at least um, kind of sympath sympathetic towards uh, Jesus's ministry and knew very much about it, having living in Jerusalem at that time. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool hearing that from it, it, from just like that point of view is just really awesome. I loved it. I'm gonna have to check out some more by these guys. And, uh, the name of the band is area. Um, and apparently they were around back in like 1991. So I don't know if they did anything else after that. The, uh, Oh, actually, so the description on here is, this is from the band's fifth studio album in 1991, Blood for Blood. So there you go. And it's even got like Iron Maiden hashtag in it. So apparently everybody knows, yeah, these guys were 
very much influenced by Iron Maiden. Uh, but hey, what did you think? I love this. I would like 10 out of 10 this all day long. Highly recommend it. But let me, I want to know what you think. If you liked it, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, but definitely share this with your friends, family, complete strangers. Get this out and let other people figure it out and see if they like it too. And uh, if you got something to say, I want, I definitely want to hear it. Just drop me a line. Loved it. Hey, hated it. Next, whatever. I want to know. I like getting those reactions and, and, and hearing the reactions from you to my reaction. So please just do me a favor real quick. Just drop a quick comment what you thought. I'd love to hear it. And if you got something out there, music I've never heard, I want to hear it. So please send me a link or point me in the right direction. And uh, we'll definitely take a look at it. In the, in the meantime, till next time, stay cool out there. Be safe. I love you. God loves you. Peace.